Hey you guys, welcome to Lisa's Sassy channel. Um, well I got my better quality camera, which is my phone. I got the iPhone at 6 or whatever, got it in pink, bitch. But anyway, um, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> I was not sure if I really, really wanted to tell this story first but i was so confused about what story i wanted to do so i was like you know what forget it i'm gonna just do with a story time on it because that's the only thing i have come to mind because i don't want to talk about love relationship at first i think i want to talk about me instead of the other stuff but anyway so this happened my first period happened I was like fifth grade, okay? I was an early bloomer, and I was 11 and a half years old, about to be 12 in, a, in the summertime, because it was like the second half of the school year before I graduated elementary school. And so, what had happened was at first, like, okay, I had my blue dress on. I still have it. My graduation dress. I still have it. It was so pretty and elegant. This lady got it for me from another class. It is a blue dress with, um, what do you call it? It's a white dress. I'm sorry. It's a white dress with blue roses. And it was so pretty. It had like little crease like that. It had like the little fluffy part going out like that. I'll show it to y'all another time but it was so pretty so i was in the oh it's kind of two embarrassing moments i'm gonna do two embarrassing moments two stories in one okay so i was in the bathroom whatever and i was like what is this yellow stuff because like okay girls when you get first get your period it's like yellow and red and i'm like I did not know. I thought it was just going to be like kind of pinkish because I heard it's also pinkish and stuff like that. But I'm not going to go deep into the colors. But long as it's not green and other shit, you should be fine. But anyway, um, so I um, felt something linking out of me. And I was like, okay, it just may be the girl thing like, you know, goo. And maybe that because I am a preteen and I'm guessing it's coming out. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. Um, anyway, so it turns out it wasn't. So I went into the bathroom. I had my beautiful dress on. It was before my performance. I had my dress on. And I was, I had like this beige bra on. This is the other embarrassing part I'm about to tell y'all in a minute. Y'all about to know why I brought that bra up in a second. So I went to the bathroom and I saw something. I was like, what the fuck is this? What is that? coming out man and I saw I were up again and I saw red after that and I was like oh my god oh my god no I do not want my period right now I'd rather wait until like high school because I feel like I want to be a child as long as I can I did not want my period early I seriously didn't because the later your period is the better I heard it's better better off it is sometimes but anyway so I had that, and it was like icky and stuff like that. Anyway, so I was so freaking scared. My heart was pounding, and people kept saying, hurry up out the bathroom, hurry up. We got to go, we got to go. They was like, no, no, no. I like, hurry, we got to go. And I was like, okay, I'm coming. So I had to make a little tissue thing, because I didn't have no pads, because I didn't expect to get my period. So I didn't carry that. So... Um, so after I made my little homemade little pad thing, cause my mama taught me and said, you're at the age where you're going to like, well, eventually you're going to know how to, you're going to know, not have to know how to do this. So I just made one and little did I know that I had that beige bra I had that it was my first push up bra. It was around my waist, like right here. It was right there. It was around my waist, literally. And I was like, I didn't know. I really seriously did not know. I had my little white heels on. I was feeling gorgeous. 
and classy as fuck. I was like, I got the prettiest dress. I don't care about that, 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 that dress. I was the prettiest one. But nowadays, these uh, freaking uh, middle schoolers are trying to wear grown as hell dresses, like see through stuff and short and tight. And I'm like, girl, you can wait. I don't know if I was that girl's mother, I'd be like, no, but we're going to dress like a middle schooler. You're going to dress cute and beautiful, but not freaking like, no. No. But anyway, so I went out and we went to the stage. Because ours was like um, the stage back there, but it was a cafeteria. Like the cafeteria, the desk, and then the lines, like you got to go inside. Like there's like the brick wall and there's like doors three doors and you go into the doors to get your food and you go out the other door and then some people go out the other door and some people got the other door because it was like three different lines okay so it was like a cafeteria slash auditorium the stage was big so and also i was there's like this little i don't know what's called like a stand for people to stand on when they about to sing so we went on the stage stage they also had to stand in front of the stage so I was on the side in the middle because I was short. Everybody was short back then, though. Which I wouldn't shouldn't really say that. But I was kind of actually taller than them. I used to be actually taller than the boys when I was around that age. And then all of a sudden, they shut up real big when I was around that time. But anyway, so my shoe had fell off. I had bullies back then, y'all. I had a lot of bullies. And I'll save that for another story time. But I had a lot of boys. My shoe fell off. Because I was trying to lift my dress up. Because uh, back then I was probably like five, four foot ten. Four foot ten. Four foot like eleven. But anyway. So, um. Dang, it's going to be a long story time. Anyway. um, So my shoe fell off. And then... They kept cussing and fussing at me, not the other people, but the bullies were cussing and fussing at me, talk about, what the hell, you need to fucking da 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 And I was like, my shoe fell off, so I stood up for myself and called them some names back, cussed a little bit, even though I was shitting, because you do not cuss, don't cuss if you're in elementary school, middle school. You shouldn't be cussing at all, but I'm just saying, like, not that, don't start off that, y'all. Please don't. I hear toddlers cuss, and it disgusts me. And some of their parents think it's funny. It's that, sh that stuff ain't funny at all. It pisses me off. Anyway. um, So, yeah, that happened. So, later on, I went to the daycare. Yes, guys, I was at a daycare. So, I went to the daycare. There was this girl, woman. I don't know her name. I'm going to call her La uh, Lakeisha. I'm going to call her Lakeisha. So, Lakeisha, she's like a college-age student and stuff like that. And so... I was starting to bleed some more, and I asked her, do you have a pad? Because I, I think I had my period. And she was like, oh, my God, really? You're a woman now? And I was so scared. I was like, yay, because I was so scared. I didn't want to tell her that. I want to keep it to myself because I wanted to, to tell my mom myself in my own way. But just the part that made me, me so mad. Okay. I was bleeding some more. She gave me a pass. She was more excited than ever. Like, I was her daughter and stuff. And I was like, it's not, it's not that, that serious. Okay. I'm bleeding. I'm in pain. It hurts. Okay. But that first period, it wasn't all that bad. But when I got my next period three weeks later, it was hell like hell, I was. I used to throw up most of the time. I had my period throughout my period. I used to throw up for the first couple of years. I threw up in my last, my fifth to the last, fourth to the last period. I had, I threw up a little bit. So, period, me and periods did not get along. And I know periods don't get along with other females, but especially when you throw up like crazy, like on and off until like the third, the fourth day, like <sighs> fatiguing that. Ain't nothing compared to the one up along with it and feel like someone stabbed you in the gut. But other people know about that part. But anyway, so she called my mom and I was like, no, please don't tell her. She said, I promise you I will not tell her. Guess what this chick did? Guess what she did? She gonna call my mama. And I told her I want to tell her my own way. She said, why are you scared about it? 
I said, I don't know. I just want to tell her my own way. I'll, I'll tell her. I'll eventually tell her. So she decides to call my mom and freaking tell her. For me, says, your daughter had her first period. And I gave her a pat. Oh, my God. I know y'all so excited. And I was like, really, bitch? You going to tell her? I was supposed to tell her, not you. I was so mad. So, but she found out. She was like, oh, she's a woman now. And my mom was like, yeah, oh, she's a woman now. So they was having a conversation, kind of a little excited. But that woman, I promise you, she was so excited. I was like, she was more excited than me. And my mom, like, I was like, girl, calm down. Calm down. But anyway, so I was really mad about that. But anyway, <sighs> I wish I had grabbed the phone from her and told her myself, but it's whatever. But anyway, so that's my story time about my first period ever. And I hope you enjoyed this story time. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I hope you enjoy. Bye. I hope you like my makeup. I hope I don't scare y'all with this makeup, though. I really don't. Because, like, I don't know if I should blend it out more. But, yeah, I tried. I tried to do something new. But, anyway, love you guys. Bye.